Twelve years ago, Porsche unleashed the Cayenne Turbo upon the world. Since when it has gone on to redefine the company's bank account and blown pretty much anything that has stood in its path clean away. And now they've redesigned the mighty Cayenne Turbo once again, giving it more power and performance, but also more economy and less weight to carry. And the result, as you can imagine, is quite impressive. The changes to this fourth generation model are many. In the case of the Turbo, the numbers are just they're breathtaking. You've got 513 horsepower now, you've got 533 pounds-feet of torque, yet on a combined figure it will give you 26 mpg and it weighs less than ever. It weighs only just a smidgen over two tonnes now. As a result, the performance is absolutely epic. This one's got the sports chrono package, but not to 62 miles an hour in 4.2 seconds, not to 100 miles an hour in 10.2 seconds, and flipping heck knows what outright top speed. The k Turbo is just a proper weapon of a machine, and its personality has got wider than ever as well, because when you dial the dampers down to comfort, they're even more comfortable than before. The whole car is softer than before, but when you dial them up to Sport Plus, it just feels like a, well, it's not a full-blown sports car because you sit too high for that, but the body control and the grip and the composure that this thing has got and the speed that it can cover ground with is, it's just rude, quite frankly. They've upped the brakes, they've upped the size and power of the brakes, which is, which is good and just as well. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> Show me a Range Rover that could go along this road at this kind of speed and I will show you a liar, basically. It is just brilliant the way this thing handles, the way it grips, the way it steers. Lovely steering, accurate, lots of feel, complete precision when you turn it into a kind of sweeping corner like that. The suspension is standard in the new turbo and can be raised or lowered to aid off-road flexibility, claims Porsche. More realistically, however, this enables a turbo driver to lower the ride height of their Leviathan by 52 millimetres to make loading the shopping that much easier. The gearbox works just brilliantly as well. It's the 8-speed ZF and it just fires ratios at you just at the right moment, just when you want them. <laughs> oh, wow! Interestingly, the KN Turbo doesn't come with Porsche's dual clutch automatic gearbox like its smaller McCann brother does. Instead, it makes do with a regular 8 speed auto from ZF. And that's because the 8 speeder is easier to tow with, says Porsche. The thing's been completely restyled front and rear. There's a slightly less aggressive. Less, less deep grille at the front, which they reckon makes it look wider and more potent. New LED lights at the back, some changes to the roof line, which make it look a bit more sporting, and just the whole idea being to make it look even smaller again than it actually is. And it does, it tricks your eye. You look at it and think, OK, it's big, but it's not. It's no longer quite such an enormous great big Sherman tank that it was. It also reckons Porsche more comfortable than ever, particularly in the rear seats. You know, you, you climb back there and it does feel like a, a really rather lovely place to be, but not just as lovely as being in this seat, because this, in the turbo in particular, is where you want to be. And there are several reasons why. One being this lovely new steering wheel, which is from, it's actually the same wheel that you get in the McCann, but more crucially, it's the same wheel that you get in a 918 Spider, give or take a few different buttons on it. And it does, it, it just feels lovely in the hands and it's pretty nice to look at too. They've redesigned the centre console again and it's better than ever this time. At one point it was just a kind of sea of, of buttons that you didn't really know what to do with but you know this all makes sense now and it looks really good and it feels just expensive and beautifully put together inside the KN Turbo, inside any KN but somehow the Turbo just feels that much more expensive inside. 
but then it should do because it costs the very thick end of £94,000. But that is a lot of money, but you do get an awful lot of car as a result. So that's how good the new KN Turbo is to drive on-road. But what about off-road? What's it like then? Porsche are really proud of what this thing will do off-road, and they brought us to this fantastic off-road place just outside Barcelona, which is owned by some ultra-rich bloke who basically uses this as his playground to practice for the Paris-Dakar. <laughs> some life. Okay, you've got, you've got these buttons down here, and you're on-road, everything's normal. You go on-road, off-road setting one, the front diff locks, off-road setting two, the rear diff locks. I probably don't need all that for, for being on this piece of road, but let's give it a whirl. <laughs> I just love it. I just like the fact you can do this at all in a car that will absolutely rip the B road to shreds. It's just the versatility is incredible, it really is. It puts it in its most comfortable mode, so even though it's a really horrible rough surface here, but it just feels like it's kind of gliding across the surface, it's amazing. There's just no kickback through the steering or through, through the seats, and I guess that's because that's going to have a lot to do with the new bushes that they've put in this car to make it just fundamentally stiffer, fundamentally more refined. I mean, yeah, no, this, is, this, this ain't no challenging off-road course. But it does show you just how well refined the suspension is and how flexible it is. And just how go anywhere it is. It's just a, I've never ceased to blow you away cars like this. Is there anything that Porsche can't do nowadays? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? They've got one of, if not the sweetest sports cars in the universe at the moment in the Cayman. They've got one of the most venerable sports cars there's ever been in the 911. They've got the absolutely brilliant small SUV in the Macan. The new KN, which clearly is brilliant in any of its guises, but particularly as a turbo. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, there's the 918 Spider. that's not bad as well. <laughs> They've just taken yet another leap forwards with this car. It is easily the best SUV in this class, dynamically. And I think it's, you know, it's not as lovely and, and sort of majestic to climb into and sit aboard as a Range Rover, but beyond that, it absolutely spanks a Range Rover, and for a lot of people, and I think possibly me included now, that might be enough to seal the deal. <clears throat> wow, big progress, big progress.